Welcome back to One of X, the show where ordinary people claim they can do extraordinary things. We'll reveal what we've got hidden under this very tastefully designed drip in just a minute. Next up, let's welcome 19-year-old college student Chris Krieger, everybody. <laughs> Chris, hi. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. Chris, welcome to Wannabet. Uh, where do you go to school? I'm a student at the University of Southern California, and I'm in my second year studying biology and science. And I believe your challenge involves one of these. That it does. Yes. How long have you been solving the Rubik's Cube, Chris? Well, a friend of mine introduced me to the guys at the Caltech Cube Club about a year and a half ago, and uh -huh. I've been working on it since then. And you say you can work out how to solve it no matter how many times it's been mixed up. Every single time. Okay. Every single time? Yep. So if I did this and mixed it up and kind of messed with it a little, you'd be able to solve that? Absolutely. And if I was to take it then and mess it up further and go with it and keep going and keep messing, you'd be able to fix it, yes? Sure thing. Okay. In fact, Chris here claims that he can solve this mixed up cube no matter how many times it's been mixed up and blindfolded. Yeah. But, 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 not only that, Chris claims he can complete the cube blindfolded while holding his breath submerged in this. There is no time limit except Chris's own lungs. <laughs> so, Chris, the very best to you. Thank Off you, you go and get ready, and we'll see you in a moment. We will see you in a moment. Panel, tell us if you think Chris will succeed or fail, and how much you want to bet. <laughs> <laughs> So, Tom, how much do you want to bet on this one? You've got $15,000 at the minute. How much do you want to bet? <laughs> I've uh, put $15,000 bet down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, Tom, you do realise that should you get this wrong, you will be bankrupt? I uh, don't intend on getting it wrong, actually. Okay, my man. I like it. Sean, how much do you want to bet? I'm going to go $8,000. $8,000. $8, Thank you, Sean. Lovely Ali. How Gosh, much do you want to I bet, I thought Ali? I was bidding high. $5,000. $5,000 from Ali again. Thank you, Ali. And finally, Larry, how much do you want to bet? I'm going to keep pace with Ali and go $5,000. $5,000. Oh. $5, <laughs> now, just, just to make sure... Everything is fair and square. Larry, would you give that a little mix-up, please? Oh, certainly. Just give it a mix, and then we'll give it to Chris. Brings back bad memories. <laughs> Too many nights alone. Happy? Yeah? Yes. OK. OK, good. So we've had a go at mixing up the cube. Now, it's Chris's job to try and solve this underwater and blindfolded. There you are, Chris. Thank you. The very best of luck to you. The bet is on. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in the studio, while Chris studies the cube, we do need absolute silence, please. As you can see, Chris is going to study how he's going to get it back, how he's going to complete it. So he just needs a few moments to take a look at the cube. OK, okay. Chris oh. is happy. Blindfold on, please, my hand. Here he goes. Gonna fill up with air now. A few final deep breaths. And he's off. Okay, here we go. Look at how quick he's turning. That finger's working very quickly. Now remember, this was mixed up by me, Deck, the panel. Chris has studied the cube. Come on, Chris. He, he's, he's 
paused. He thinks he still has more to do. Chris has been underwater for one minute. Come and Give him a us. big hand, everybody. He did brilliantly. Chris, what happened? I, I forgot my last step. I, I know exactly what I need to do right there. I just, really? I just forgot it at the end. So how easy would that be? Do you want to fix it now and show us how quickly that could have been? So you went, you went wrong one step and it put the hook. Look That's at that. It. So look at that. Unfortunately, you failed, but you gave it your best shot. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Krieger! Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Thanks Chris. Yeah. Right. Oh, All right. What a shame. What a shame. So, Tom, you said that Chris would... Oh! <laughs> Stop, Tom. You have lost your bet. Taking your total to... Uh, nothing! <laughs> nothing! What, what happened? No. I still think that door not closing thing was a bunch of bull... <laughs> <laughs> Tom! Tom! Unfortunately, you can't bet anymore because you've got no... What is your problem, man? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Over here. I'm looking at you like you're some sort of quantum astrophysicist or something. <laughs> it was right there! Well, you moron! <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> it's alright, Tom. It's alright, honestly, it's alright. It's alright. You were friends. No, 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 Tom, you, from now on you can't bet because you've got no money left. Oh, oh so what, I just sit here like a loser for yeah, now? Yeah, should we let him sit here? <laughs> should we let him sit here for the rest of the show? He sits here for the rest of the show. That's the rules. <laughs> OK, moving on. Sean, you bet $8,000. You said Chris Wood succeeds. Oh. You lost your bet also, but your total goes down to... 15,000. You're still in the game. It's nice to have you. Really nice to have you. <laughs> I'm, I'm still in the game. Yeah, you're still in the game. Still here. You're still in the game. Still in the game. <laughs> Ali, you yes. bet $5,000 and you said Chris Wood. <laughs> Fail! Well done! Oh. And you won your bet taking your total to $25,000. You go in the lead. And finally, Larry, you bet $5,000 and you thought Chris Wood. Succeed! You lost your bet taking your total to $15,000. I thought for sure he was going to do it. <laughs> so, our leader with $25,000 is Ali. Coming up, a young boy who loves vacuums, two men take on a chainsaw, and a construction worker tries to undress a beautiful woman without touching her. Can't be done. I've tried. We'll be back with more Wanna Bet after this. Woo! 